Hello friends, welcome to BISPTraining.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I am going to demonstrate you how to add plugins in Jenkins. In my previous video I had demonstrated you how can we create a new job or how can we schedule a new job as well as how can we configure to send an email automatically from Jenkins whenever any job fail or any build fail it will automatically send an email to the registered email ID so in continuation of that I'm going to add a plugin in Jenkins to make some changes into the existing job so let me tell you the scenario so I'll switch to my VM player and that was the job which I have been configured in previous sessions in previously and as you can see here whenever I build a job so you can see this icon this blue color icon it indicates that it's a success or this job has been executed successfully so instead of this color I would like to display some other icon or let's suppose I would like to download a plugin for displaying this blue color into green or to display some other icon here so in Jenkins we have an feature available called plugins so we can download some ready ready-made plugins or we can uh, download the plugins externally and then we can upload those plugins into Jenkins and we can use that plugin with any of our job so first of all let's see how can we add a plugin to the current to the current Jenkins so for that I get back to Jenkins I click on Jenkins dashboard then I click on manage Jenkins from manage Jenkins we have an option named as manage plugin so this will help us to remove disable or enable plugins that can extend the functionality of Jenkins so I click on manage plugins when we click on manage plugins it will give us so there are four sections updates available install and advanced so I would like to install or I would like to install a new plugin so this install section will display all the installed plugins with the current subscription with the current Jenkins and you can see all these plugins are already configured email extension plugin is already configured and there is one update is also there so I can select it and we can select update or we can have all the we can look for all the other plugins and anytime if you want to remove any plugin we can simply select it and click on uninstall so the options the the uninstall is coming only in front of few of the plugins so all these plugins are externally plugins and these the rest of the plugins are system plugins so we cannot remove them now I'm looking for a green ball plugin so I click on available so first of all let's find out this green ball plugin in the installed list of directories so I don't have these plugins installed on my system right now so I click on available because it has got a huge list of plugins so obviously it would be very difficult to find out the plugins uh, to scroll and look for that plugin manually so instead of that I simply search here and type green ball and when I say green balls plugin I got a green ball plugin it changed the Hudson to use green ball instead of blue for successful build so instead of that successful build a green icon will appear so I select this green ball and click install without restart so I click on install install without restart so it will installing the plugin and configuring it so it will based on your internet connectivity and update center connectivity is required so it is pending and once it is completed the status will change so you can see it's installing it may take some time and once it is installed successfully it will automatically turn to success 
now let's go back to the dashboard jenkins dashboard and uh, because this green ball plugin is mainly for to display the success job instead of blue it will display in green color green ball so when i click on jenkins dashboard and let's do one thing i select this job because this is previously built so i select this job or we can directly build now so now you can see here the icon has been changed is so icon has been turned into green successfully this indicates that the green ball plugin has successfully been installed and configured with our environment so that's how we can configure plugins into gen so that's all in this video i hope you found this video you interesting and useful if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bsptraining.com keep watching have a nice day goodbye